Next is deploying our very first Windows 8 client. Some things you should know about those clients before we get started is the client does require network connectivity. He's got to be able to talk to the WDS server. And Pixie Boot is the boot method by default. First, you need to ensure that your Pixie response policy is configured properly, and that's where we're going to start. On our deployment server, we will go to the properties of our server, go to the Pixie response tab, and we're going to set this to respond to all client computers, both known and unknown for now, and click OK. Next, it's over to the client. On this WDS client, I wanted to show you the virtual settings first. What I have is my network adapter is set for the same subnet, and I have nothing in the CD tray. So we're going to power on this machine. And we're now loading our files. One thing that's really nice on this page is it shows you the IP address of the WDS server. Bottom left corner, that 10.10.10.55, that's the address of our WDS server. And the other piece of information it's showing you is the file that it's booting. So it's actually going into the remote install folder, going to the boot folder within that, x86, within that, images, and then boot.wim. When the WDS client auto launches, go ahead and choose your locale and keyboard or input method and click Next. Enter credentials, so we need Globomantics, Inc. And we're going to go with Administrator. Input your password and click OK. It displays the one and only operating system image we have. If you had more, they would be listed. And if you used your priorities, they would be listed in whatever order you decided. We'll choose the one and only and click Next. And for our drive options, you could either go into Drive Options. You could choose to create your own partitions here by clicking New and then creating each partition, giving it the size you want. You can refresh. And we could also load drivers at this point if we needed to. I'm going to accept the defaults for the partition sizes and numbers and just click Next. Now we're checking in with the WDS server. And as soon as it responds, it will initiate the session. When you get the license terms page, accept the license term. On your express settings, take a second to check these out. So these are the recommended settings. Automatically install important and recommended updates. Help protect your PC from unsafe files and websites. Turn on Do Not Track in IE. Help improve Microsoft software services, location services by sending information to Microsoft. Check online for solutions to problems. Let applications give you personalized content based on your PC's location name, account picture, and other domain information, and country or region, U.S., keyboard layout, U.S. I'm going to click Customize on these settings, and we'll go through and make our own decisions here. So Windows Update, automatically install important and recommended updates. I'm going to choose, since we're in a test lab environment, don't set up Windows Update for now. Automatically get device drivers, applications, and information for new devices. I'm going to leave that on. And then under Help Protect Your Privacy and Your PC, turn on Windows Smart Screen Filter. I'll leave that on. Turn on IE Smart Screen Filter to check URLs and downloads with Microsoft to make sure they're not phishing sites or known viruses. Send a Do Not Track request to websites you visit in IE. We'll leave those on. Go to Next. Do you want to improve Windows Store by sending URLs for web content that apps use? That's set to off and we'll leave it off. Help Microsoft respond to malicious apps and malware by joining Microsoft Active Protection Service. That's off. Help improve Microsoft services by sending location information. Off. Participate in the Customer Experience Improvement Program. 
off, help improve Windows help content by sending information to the Help Experience Improvement Program. Click Next. Check online for solutions to problems. Do you want to use Windows error reporting to check for solutions to problems? It's set to on. We're just going to click on the toggle and set it to off. Do you want to use IE compatibility list to help improve your experience on some sites? No. Share information with apps. Do you want to let applications use your name, picture, or other domain account information? No. Do you want to turn on Windows Location Platform so apps can ask users for their location? And we'll turn that off as well. Click Next. Regional Settings. We're going to stick with English, U.S. Click Next. To sign into your PC, you could choose to use your Microsoft account. That would be like your Windows Live account. So I could input my email address here, Rhonda at GlobalManticsInc.com, which would allow me to download applications from the Windows Store, get online content in Microsoft Apps automatically, and sync settings online to make PCs look and feel the same. So when you have multiple PCs all running Windows 8, you can have the same applications running on each machine. And it can also link up your browser history, account picture, and colors. If you don't have a Microsoft Live account or you don't want to log on with that, you could choose to sign up for a new email address or sign in without a Microsoft account, which is what we're going to choose. We'll log on with a local account. Input the name of Rhonda. Enter your password. And a password hint. Let's say it's just a fruit. And click Finish. And you have a brand new Windows 8 machine up and running.